everyone. I'm Charo Paredes. I work for Docomo Digital, which is a company focused on mobile content and alternative me uh, payment methods. Okay, so just focusing on what's happening on, an, on a minute on the internet, uh, we see so many apps that we are using. So it makes sense to basically optimize an app from scratch. So when you are optimizing an app from scratch, there are certain questions that uh, you need to ask yourself, okay? So how many languages you are going to optimize your app in? Is it just in English, any other languages? In how many app stores are you gonna go for the conventional ones? Or would you go for Amazon Fire, Samsung apps, um, telcos, portals, and so on? You also need to, need to consider how, mu how much budget uh, you have. So are you going to spend any budget? Are you going to invest on paid campaigns? Uh, which channel is the most effective one for your paid performance? So to talk about optimizing apps from scratch, I'm going to exemplify it with an educational games platform called Little Smart Planet. We initially um, launched this app in Spanish and then focused on to the English-speaking market. Little Smart Planet um, is part of a startup acceleration program, a European uh, program, let's say, called Impact, in which my company, Docomo Digital, is part of it. So basically, I'm a mentor for them, okay? But I'm not part of the company. So Little Smart Planet okay, offers educational games for primary school students in mathematics, English, and Spanish. It has different levels, the basic one, and advanced, also different levels of difficulty as well, so it could be an easy, a medium, or a difficult. You can play alone, or you can challenge a friend. So just to explain a little bit about Little Smart Planet, okay? It has different business models. So they started just with a light version, okay? Which um, basically uh, it was a one-off payment per school course. And all these games obviously have a pedagogical, uh, pedagogic and didactic value. Okay, so there is also the possibility of buying more, more courses. Uh, Little Smart Planet evolves into an online subscription platform, okay? And this is the pro version, okay? So basically, the, the students would get 15 days for free with in-app advertising, and then there is gamification included, and the parents will have a weekly report tracking the performance of their children. But this continued evolving as well, okay? And the, basically, the, they thought of doing something different, okay? And it's segmenting the content into individual apps, okay? So they would be free ones with in-app advertising, okay? And launch into different app stores. So iOS, Google Play, Samsung Apps, and Amazon Fire. This promotes the, re the revision of a specific content, but it doesn't have a report, okay, all these individual apps of children progress. Anyway, so just for you to see an example, this could be the mathematic ones, and then the Spanish ones, and for instance, the English in order to uh, work the infinitive. Okay, so anyway, once we have with um, this type of uh, educational games, we need to decide what to do with it, okay? So obviously we have, uh, a list of tools that we had to work with. Uh, there are keyword research tools. There are tools uh, for ratings and reviews, for A-B testing, everything, okay? You have a list here. This actually comes from a, a resource that a Spanish company called Picasso published uh, some months ago, okay? So anyway, the first step would be to do a specific keyword research for um, your app, okay? In this case, as I said, these are educational apps, okay? In English, mathematics, and Spanish, okay? So you need to focus on what you are going to research and the different type of apps 
uh, the different uh, yeah, type of uh, tools that you want to research, okay? So in there you could see a specific um, ASO tools like ASO Desk and Apani, then there would be even the Keyword Planner for AdWords, a Keyword Tool uh, focus on, on the App Store, and then Google Trends and um, a specific keyword searches, okay, for, for SEO. Obviously, we gave a different weight to each of the tools. Okay, there is something else that you can do as well, okay, and it's to focus your research. So you could focus your research just on mathematics or on a specific individual game. You can also do a specific uh, keyword research for important campaigns that you are also doing on paid performance, like back to school or Christmas, which make a lot of sense for this type of educational app. You have here some screenshots of one of the tools that I use, it's the tool, also by, done by Picasso, okay. It has many different functionalities, it's the one I like the most, that's why I insert it. And not only has the usual metrics, okay, and sentiment and so on, but you can also integrate attribution partners and uh, paid performance. Once you select your uh, keywords, okay, from your specific keyword research for, for ASO, you need to do the usual actions, okay? So you need to do your ASO on app and your ASO off app, okay? So just the usual focus on the title, description, and so on, depending on the operating system, looking at the visual, including your videos, and so on. And the same for your ASO app. Okay, so looking at your downloads, how you are going to respond to your ratings and reviews, etc. But the focus of this presentation is to give you also some ideas about how to optimize from scratch. Okay, so we got the conventional techniques, but there is something else as well that you can do and think a little bit outside the box. Okay, so still with the same example with Little Smart Planet, something else that we did was optimizing the web, okay? So the SEO was work on, there was a specific keyword research for SEO in the Spanish and the English version, and then from the research that we had uh, for both SEO and ASO, we also uh, optimized all the social media profiles, okay? So there was advice given and something that um, they could improve on as well. Okay, and in this case was on Twitter and on Facebook. Um, something else that we work quite a lot on was video marketing, okay? So there was a YouTube channel open with very, very few videos, and we wanted to maximize it, okay? So it was not only a way of doing branding, but also of acquiring stalls through this channel. So with the previous keyword research, um, the channel was optimized, and then we had to decide what to do, okay? How many videos to include? Were they going to be long or short, okay? So uh, we tried first with very long videos, and then we decided to cut some videos into uh, small pieces, okay? And that worked for us. But not only that, um, we also did a specific keyword research for video using different tools, okay? A specific ones from the app stores, as well as uh, keyword tool I.O., focus on YouTube, uh, contrasting with the YouTube search results, and so on, okay? You will always see all these traffic light uh, keywords, okay? And allocated by, by priority. Anyway, something very interesting here was that uh, because we were focusing on two, two uh, different speaking markets, like the English and the Spanish ones, um, the titles were work in different ways, okay? So initially there was a Spanish one with a Spanish description, English one with an English description, then we evolved to having a mixed title in English and Spanish because we had a bigger reach with uh, different descriptions targeted in the, in the configuration, okay? And, uh, well, you can see here all the different tags would be in both languages. And at the end, what we did was evolving into something different, okay? So the title was going to be fully in English, 
all this title is fully optimized, okay? And um, the description would be targeted in different languages according to, to the users, okay? So our reach was wider, having just a title in English, even if our users were both from English and, speak, and Spanish speaking markets, okay? And sometimes you can have these results, okay? So let me explain what, it, what this is, okay? So you can see there all the videos for the alphabet. There is a very long one, and then there are three shorter ones, okay? But one of them has much, has many, many, many more views than the others, okay? And this was because something happened, okay? And it was basically the browsing and the featuring on the YouTube Kids, okay? And this had a bigger and a wider impact on the app, okay? So both on the videos as well as on the app. And something else that you can do, okay, from the work that you had done on video would be um, basically transferring it onto other uh, video platforms, okay? So, for instance, uh, there is two Googles, there is Film On, and in this case, what we did was recycling from the previous uh, YouTube title and description and modifying it for this platform. So it had to be a shorter description, okay? But it had already been researched for YouTube. So at the end, it would, it would have a certain impact there, okay? And then the work done for, for Toon Goggles uh, was also basically, well, not copied, but adapted to, to film on. And finally, what I would like to talk about is an interesting experiment that you can do, in this case, combining paid an ASO, okay? And uh, this is in Spanish, so let me explain a little bit about this, okay? On the first screenshot, this is a, this is a uh, landing page campaign done for the telcos, okay? So um, basically, to, to install the app from the telcos operator, okay? So here from O2 or a similar operator, okay? So in this case, you will have the first screenshot, okay? The first screenshot says, uh, play and review your grammar, okay? And then there is an A-B testing done after, okay? And that A-B testing done after is after clicking on the more info button, okay? So then the users would be presented with an A or a B version. The B version is the one that has been ASO and SCO optimized, okay? And it's true, it's longer, okay? They have the same claim at the top, but then at the box, uh, the second one on the right is more explanatory, and it's also keyword rich, okay? So it says more than 50 educational games, okay? For Spanish, English, and mathematics, review your primary school, uh, review primary school subjects with Little Smart Planet, okay? The difference with also with the first one is not just on the volume of words and the keyword richness. There is also something else. And it's the subscribe, okay? It's the subscribe keywords. The first one says subscribe to review by playing, okay? The other one doesn't have any mention to subscription. Anyway, after that, there is an analysis to be done, okay? And the analysis was, and uh, the result of it, was that the B version, okay, the fishing B, has had a better conversion rate, more subscriptions, more clicks on the information button, as well as more clicks on the very first page that the users were presented with. Okay, so just remember that you need to use your conventional ASO strategies, your keyword research, ASO on app, ASO off app, but you can also think outside the box and do your SEO to drive conversions, to drive organic crystals, okay? Using your web as a way of acquiring users, okay? Of acquiring organic crystals that would become hopefully recurrent users, and in this case, subscribers. Uh, you can also do social media optimization to drive your stalls, video marketing, as well as any type of A-B testing, and in this case, focus on uh, paid uh, landing page campaigns. So that's all for me.